My name is Yutaka Yoshida. I'm 26 and work for food manufacturer. Earlier this year, I was transferred to the sales department. All right, the handouts are ready. Boss, please check. The handouts are ready. Um, who are you again? I'm Yoshida. I got transferred here in April, remember? Oh, right. My bad. Uh, well done. It's good to go. Thank you very much. I've always been told that I don't have much of a presence. It's already lunch? I guess I'll go to the cafeteria. Excuse me, this is a package for Nagasaki-san. Are you here? Why would you deliver it now? Nagasaki-san suddenly shouted. He's my older colleague. Apparently, he's angry that it was delivered at lunchtime. Sorry. He came at the specified time, though. I stepped in and defended the delivery man. <sighs> Who the hell are you? He got mad at me. In the end, he just took the package and walked away. Um, thank you so much. Oh, don't worry about it. The food here is really good as usual. Excuse me, may I sit here? I looked up. My colleague Sato-san was standing there with her food. Oh, sure, of course. She's pretty but doesn't talk much. I had never talked to her. She's smiling at me. What's she up to? You've recently been transferred to sales, right? Have you gotten used to it? Uh, yes. I think I'm fitting in just fine. I want to get to know you better. What do you do on your days off? Let's go out and have fun! Oh, well, okay. Um, if we ever find the time... I gave her a vague response. I was surprised by the sudden invitation. Hey, Yoshida! Come here for a sec! Nagasaki-san wants me. I headed to his desk. Yes, what is it? <laughs> Type up all these ducks right now, okay? Whoa, that's quite a lot. Are you not gonna do it? I've got an important meeting! I've heard about you, <laughs> You've been passed around from one department to another, right? A useless guy like you should do all the chores! And he left the office. I reluctantly did what he told me to do. Oh god, it's finally over. Oh, isn't that Sato-san over there? That was tough, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Why are you still here? I had to work overtime too. Um, why don't we go for dinner together, if you don't mind? Um, okay, sure. I was just going to buy something at a convenience store anyway. Wait, I don't remember her working overtime though. Actually, I invited you because I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Nagasaka-san was upset with the delivery man, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, that was my younger brother. He's still in college, but he started working part-time as a delivery man. And he delivers to our office often. Oh, I see. I didn't know he was your brother. I should have been the one to help him, but you helped him first. Well, I was just closer to him. No worries at all. Thank you very much. But because of what you did, Nagasaku-san hates you now. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. He's an excellent salesman, but lately he's been getting arrogant. That's true, and that's affecting the atmosphere in the office. I wish I were a guy. I would beat him up with a judo throw and jujitsu joint locks. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're a woman. Hey guys, we decided to launch a new project. We're developing a new product. He announced it in front of everyone in the office. He seemed very excited about it. The R&D department and we are going to form a joint project team. But sir, we're completely amateurs when it comes to R&D. No problem there. First, just gather some information from marketing and share it with the R&D team. 
I see. Understood. It's amazing, isn't it? We're going to create a product that will be sold all over the country. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, though. But you have a good relationship with the R&D team. By the way, why did you get transferred? Oh, um, I wonder why. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm glad you got transferred, though. Um, did you say something? Uh, no, 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 I didn't say anything. Not a word, not a single word. I'm pretty sure she said something, though. Whoa, her face is so red. Anyway, let's go. We have a meeting. To begin with, we need to do market research to see what kind of products are in demand. We were in the conference room. Sato-san was facilitating the discussion. She really is like a different person when she's working. I see. So we should go out and research a bunch of restaurants. Yes, our deadline is in six months, so we need to do it as soon as possible. Then let's go to this restaurant together! <coughs> Nagasaki-san put his hand on her shoulder as he said that. This is an upscale restaurant. It doesn't make sense. We want to create a product that will cater to a lot of people. But this restaurant is interesting. We might get some ideas. Whoa, that restaurant looks amazing. I've never been to such a fancy restaurant. I looked into his phone from behind as I said that. Oh, um, sorry, dude. This restaurant only allows two people per table. Oh, then why don't we go together? I would love to try this restaurant. Oh, um, never mind. I'll leave the research to you two. Just report back to me the results. Um, thank you so much for saving me. Whoa, she's so close to me. And she's so pretty. Do you have time this weekend? I would like to go around supermarkets with you for research. Oh, yeah, sure. That's a lot of people. Oh, there she is. I found Sato-san in front of the station. Whoa, she's beautiful. She looks totally different from how she is at work. Oh, huh? Someone's approaching her. Does he know her? I slowly walk towards Sato-san. Hey, beauty. Are you alone right now? Wanna go grab some food with us? I know a great restaurant. No. She turned them down with a snap before I could do anything. Whoa, what a low voice. And she looks like she's ready to beat them up any time. The guys probably thought the same thing. They ran away from her. Oh, um, hey. Oh, uh, Yoshida-san! You've made me wait! She puffed out her cheeks. She's so cute. But which one is the real her? Well, shall we go? Oh, yes, ma'am. We bought quite a lot, didn't we? But it's okay, these are company expenses. We sure did buy a lot. And it seems the trend now is healthy and safe food. We'll have to check how they taste like, though. Then let's go to a nearby park and try some. This could be our lunch, too. Sure, let's do that. Mmm, these snacks are good. <laughs> they are, but something is missing. I know it's healthy, but it tastes a little bland. Maybe that's because I lived in the U.S., though. Oh? You've lived in the U.S. before? Yeah, just for a bit when I was a student. Nagasaki-san doesn't seem very motivated by this project, does he? It's not surprising. This project won't affect his evaluation no matter how hard we've worked. Ah, right. 
He's in sales, so market research won't affect his evaluation. I see. That's why he's not motivated. This project is important for the company, though, so I think he should take it seriously. We finished our lunch, and we ran around supermarkets again. This was delicious. I think it'll be popular. Yeah, I'm confident I can sell this well. The product we came up with was a healthy snack, but it has the rich flavor that I wanted. It's the job of the R&D from here, so Sato-san and I went back to our respective jobs. I recommend Yoshida-kun as a presenter for the upcoming pitch competition. So Nagasaki-kun and Sato-kun, make sure you support him. I was called to the director's desk, and that's what he told me. What? Me, sir? And we went straight to the conference room. Alright, let's get the presentation materials together. Um, guys, I'm busy, so can you two do it? Wait a minute! This is a huge project for our company, you know! Well then, why don't we do this together? Just you and me! I found a nice Italian restaurant! I sensed that Satosan got pissed off, so I interfered quickly. Thank you very much, but it's okay. Leave it to us. Hey, don't get so cocky just because you were chosen for this, alright? I heard a lot of major companies are gonna pitch as well, so there's no way you'll win. But good luck anyway! <laughs> And he walked out. Sato-san was angry, but I calmed her down, and we managed to get the meeting started. Nice! That was a great presentation! It's perfect now! The presentation is scheduled for tomorrow, so Sato-san and I stayed behind after work to practice. Sato-san says it's good, but I'm not sure yet. I think it can be better. Sorry, can I try it one more time? Yeah, sure. By the time we finished practicing, it was almost 10 at night. Sorry it got so late. It's okay. Are you anxious? Yeah. Everyone's worked so hard for the past six months. I can't screw this up. Don't worry. I know you've been working hard. I'm sure it will turn out fine. Oh. Thank you. Sato-san's words made me relax a bit, and the next day, the competition began. Whoa, this place is huge! It, 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 it's going to be fine! R -r 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 relax, okay? Sato-san encouraged me in a trembling voice. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. Thanks, I'll do my best. You can do it! You did really well! That was a fantastic pitch! Sato-san praised me after the pitch was over. Thanks. I wasn't nervous at all thanks to you. Nagasaki-san quickly left after my pitch. He said he had a meeting. Sato-san and I went to a nearby restaurant for an after party. The next day, we returned to business as usual and waited for the results to come in. I got the results of the recent pitch competition. Two months have passed since I gave the pitch. The director announced the results and shook my hand. Thank you. We won! The moment I heard that, I became so relieved that I almost fell over. You really did a good job. The host of the competition loved your pitch. And Nagasaku, you did a great job organizing the team. Huh? Him? They did great. They did their best following my instructions. Bullshit. Sato-san tried to argue back with him, but I stopped her. There's no point. Oh, um, boss, what brings you here? Our CEO was standing with a beaming smile. We bowed our heads. Oh, please, raise your heads. You have made great contributions to our company. I should be the one to bow my head. 
Saying that, he bowed his head. Then the sales director tried to introduce the three of us to him, but... I know all three of you. Yoshida-kun did the pitch, and Sato-kun supported him very well. But... Nagasaku... You were supposed to mentor them, but abandon your job. Nagasaki-san and Sato-san were surprised that he knew the truth. I know that you want results, but that doesn't mean you can sacrifice your colleagues. That was so true. Nagasaki-san listened to him quietly. Anyway, you too. Please come to my office. He led us to his office. Wow! I've never been in this office before. Oh, oh, oh. Don't be nervous. Just take a seat on the couch. <laughs> Me and Sato-san sat face to face with the president. Thank you very much for your hard work. It must have been tough without the third guy. Sure, it was a lot of work, but it was worthwhile. I had asked you to help me manage the company, but you even helped us win the competition. It's all thanks to everyone in the company. <laughs> wait, please wait a minute. It sounds like you two know each other very well. Sato-san interrupted the conversation. I didn't know what to say, but... Actually, I recruited him in the US to join my company. Sato-san was so surprised to hear that. I'm sorry for not telling you about it until now, but there was a good reason why I didn't. I did MBA in the US and wrote a paper. The boss happened to read it and came all the way to the US to see me. I really didn't know what to do with my company, so I went to ask him for help. Is this why you were changing departments every year too? Yeah, I needed to understand everything about the company. Apparently Nagasaki-san thought I was getting kicked out of every department though. But I didn't want to tell him the truth, so I never said anything to him. So what did you find out? I think there's an urgent need to change the evaluation criteria. Nagasaki-san is a good example. There are many people like him who only do things that affect their evaluation. The boss was thinking seriously. If we don't reconsider it, many of our colleagues will lose their motivation. Sato-san seemed surprised to hear that. I asked her why. I thought you were going to suggest something more technical. A company is run by people. Each person has a role to play. Even the CEO is only one of those roles. My job is to help the boss build a company where everyone can work comfortably. That's what management is all about. That's right. I agree with his philosophy. That's why I recruited him. After our discussion was over, we went back to the sales department. Sato-san, I'm really sorry I didn't tell you. Oh, I'm not angry. I was just surprised. Really? Well, I was scared you might do a judo throw on me. Oh, wait. You're smiling, but are you actually angry? <laughs> you think I'm such a violent woman? Shall I throw you to the ground as you wish? No, please don't. Hey, Kaede. I heard about the new project. Can you let me in your team? Nagasaku pleaded Sato-san in the hallway. He must have heard that we've joined the new project to create healthy food products. Huh! Stay out of my life! Oh, wait! Let's go. Leaving a loser behind, we headed to a meeting for the new project. We became so busy since then. The next thing I knew, it was already March. This restaurant is really good! Yeah, I just happened to find it, and I thought you might like it. It's my favorite now! Actually, I'm getting transferred again in April. I see. I'm sad we won't be able to work together anymore. But, well, we're still in the same company. They were setting up the corporate strategy department and I'm going to be heading it. Wow! Isn't that a promotion? Congratulations! But I still have lots to learn, so I asked the boss to let me go for training in the US for a year. 
she became surprised and looked down in sadness. Oh, okay. You made up your mind without even talking to me, huh? This all happened in the past few days. I'm sorry it's so sudden. I can't do anything about it anyway. If you don't mind, will you come to the US with me? Huh? When I'm with you, I can do things I never thought I can. I need you. But... it's so sudden. I know it is, and I know it's inconvenient for you. I'm sorry about that. So I'll spend the rest of my life making you happy. What? Really? Then I fearfully raised my head. Her face was bright red. Are you really going to spend the rest of your life making me happy? Of course I will. Okay! Then I'm coming with you! Thank you. I'm really glad. I never thought you would be taking her with you. I came to greet the boss before leaving for the US. I'm sorry it was sudden, but I really needed her with me. It's alright, but do whatever you can to make her happy. Of course, I'm prepared to do anything. I bowed to him and headed to the airport. Ah, Yoshida-san, I've been waiting for you. Sorry for the wait. Where's Kaede? She's studying English really hard. As he said, she was reading a textbook. I put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. Don't worry. Just stay by my side. There's nothing to be afraid of. As long as I have her on my side, I'm sure I'll be happy wherever I am. <laughs>